Hey guys, it's Bear now. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we fought Blue, and then we headed up Nugget Bridge, and we got ourselves a Nugget. I didn't actually explain. A Nugget is... Uh, as I go into my Pokemon list, I'm actually... Uh, I should have healed off screen. Hold on. I never even fought this guy down here, by the way. I saw your feet from the grass. Notice how I spelt feet wrong. Yeah. I don't know if he was actually talking about feet as in a feat of courage in that case, but yeah, context-wise, I think he was talking about feet and yay, typo. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So I didn't, I didn't actually explain this. A nugget is basically an item that is only used for selling. I recommend you sell them as soon as I didn't sell it when I went down to the Poké Center. Why? Um, it's only used for selling, and it gives you a, a, quite a bit of money. Um, so I recommend you sell them as, as soon as possible because there is a limit on how many nuggets you can hold because it uses up your inver inventory. However, there is no limit on how much money you can hold. So, and pl plus, there's no other use for nuggets. Like no game, there's no, there's no use for nuggets. In fact, I think Diamond and Pearl even introduced other items that substitute um, uh, nuggets, which is weird because. You don't need to with infinite inventory, but okay. Come on, Ekans! Die so I can kill you. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Hey, for Birdo! Yeah. Uh, I never talked about the the Pokemon, you, the wild Pokemon you can find in this grass and in this grass only. But truth be told, while there are a lot of Pokemon, none of them are particularly like rare. I mean, granted, I think this is the first place you can catch uh, Bell Sprouts, Oddish, and Abra. Like, if you want to get an Abra, I recommend you go here. Uh, Bell Sprout is a decent choice, by the way. Uh, however, yeah, Bell Sprout is a is blue only, and Oddish is red only, at least for this route. Um, for the next route, I also don't think you can do anything about that. But yeah. So anyway, we're in Route 25. Yeah. Uh, there are actually a lot of items in this area. I... <laughs> I don't actually know where they are, but we'll find out. Doo -doo. I just got down from Mount Moon, but I'm ready! <laughs> okay, sure, whatever. Uh... Oh gosh, <laughs> this guy's a hiker! Why am I using... Birdo. Okay, this is when you switch out your Pokemon, guys. <sighs> Watch out for the hikers, because they're going to have matchups and stuff. Matchup is going to kill all your normal types. Let me tell you that, because fighting is super effective against normal type Pokemon. I do like your critical hits, though, Bubba. That's actually a very good thing. Problem is, he keeps getting critical hits as well. Tackle! Uh, so yeah. The other reason why <laughs> you don't want, um, getting quite a lot of experience when you compare to, like, the, the level the 20 experience we got before. The other reason why you want to send out Grass Pokemon against your hikers is that they have Geodudes. And why would you ever deal with that? By the way, I would just like to note that that Geodude is only one level higher than Brock's Onyx. We have gotten through a whole, a whole little route, a whole cave, into a new city, up another road, and into a, and into a different road, and this guy has a Pokemon one level higher. That's how that's how strong Brock is. You can find yourself an elixir there. I forgot what an elixir does. I think it restores some of the PP of all your moves. I think. But then again, I think an ether does as well. So let the side the side tell you. You're going to see Bill first. Let's fight. Surrender now and prepare to fight. Oh, that's an oh. Ooh, gosh, he's got an Onyx. Now this guy's three levels higher. And Birdo is completely stuffed. Let me tell you that. Uh, okay, come on, come on, Baba. We can do this. Also, it's been quite a bit of time since I've caught another Pokemon. Wait, why am I saying that? I I, I caught. I got two at the end of part five. I think that's all right. Um, granted, it is part part eight by now, but I don't know. I was using tackle even. I don't even know. 
Oh! Who would have seen that coming? <laughs> uh, okay. You're something, I'll tell you that, ye lad. Anyway, we're gonna fight you, because I'm a little bit OCD, I wanna count, kind of defeat all the trainers. Oh, gosh. By the way, there is one new Pokemon we can find in this room. Is it? It's actually kind of kind of nice to, to fight a lot of trainers and not have to edit a lot of bios on the side. Fury attack! Fury attack! <laughs> see, see, look how weak Rattata is. You can tell how weak a Pokemon is if you're using Fury attack. Because basically, oh, except for the Hyper Fang. Look at that, that is, that is ridiculously strong, Hyper Fang. Also, I think Hyper Fang is an exclusive move to, uh, to Rattata and Raticate for that matter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick out for one moment. Okay, fine, fine, we'll do it. We'll do it, but if I die, I'm blaming on you, Sparrow, because it, the enemy won. Oh, dude, hit, hit one more time. Yeah! What now? <laughs> what now? <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what's the best part? I, I, I'm decent, yes. You know what's the best part? I'm gonna fight this guy right here, and <laughs> that took me on to a great party on the SSN of Million City. The SSN? Anne's a bit of an odd name for a ship. Maybe it's a 90s thing. This youngster has one Pokemon. It's a Slowpoke. Did you hear that cry? <laughs> Basically judge this Pokemon on that. Slowpoke is uh, actually a kind of decent Pokemon. His HP is very high and its attack is very high. Which is why I sent out a... Yeah, look at that HP. <laughs> also, he knows confusion, so I'm dead. <laughs> um... I think he's Water Psychic. Um... So if I send out a Psychic type, the problem is... Oh, I, I, I actually... I think I've got this. Yeah. Poison Powder. Doesn't affect him. Sleep Powder. Why isn't it affecting? It's because, like, these moves have, like, really bad hit. Why? Why do you do this to me? Okay, fine. Come on, come on. He can be stunned. Why is it not stunning? This is a very stunning battle. Oh, what well, do you know? Fifth time's the charm. That's what they say. Thankfully, he's fully paralyzed, which means I can now go on confusion spree. Oh. Oh, it's because I'm bug type. So he's getting through my psychic type. Uh, well, I got bubble. Oh, I just realized I'm stuffed beyond belief. Because Bubba is poison type. Oh, please paralyze. Please kick in. Actually, he's not water type, is he? Oh, uh, no. Well, actually, I got decent defense, I'll tell you that. Fine whip. Work. Okay, this is the point where you heal. Oh, he is water type, okay. This is the point where you heal, game. So, yeah. Uh, Slowpoke, his HP and his attack are very high. Uh, he doesn't really le learn a lot of moves through leveling, but he's, he's actually a pretty good choice. I'd recommend him. I'd recommend him. Anyway, now's a long walk back. By the way, while I'm here, I'm going to sell my, uh, my nugget to... <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Use Repel to keep the bugs at bay. Repel is... Ac Again with the sidestep? What is that? I've gotten quite a bit of money, but... If I scroll down and I... Select my nugget. Look at that, 5,000 Pokebucks. I haven't bought anything except for Pokeball, except for uh, 2,000 Pokebucks worth of Pokeballs. And I literally have, I have literally gotten more than a quarter of my earnings so far in this game. Eight parts in, just with that. Actually, no, a third, because because technically I started on like 13,000. Seriously, I had earned about 13,000 Pokebucks in the game so far, and that gives me 5,000. That's well worth it, I'll tell you that. Walking down this rocky road Going to see Bill at the end of this road I guess so 
I don't really know what else you want. Well, do 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 do. Your boy friend is cool. <laughs> okay, sure. If you had a name, maybe that would be decent. Lass, alas, poor Yurik. It's Nidoran male. Birdo, use your furry attack. Yeah, <laughs> uh, how to anger everyone? Call it a furry attack. I got nothing against furries, so... I got nothing against everyone. Except for all caps writers and who say Call of Duty is the best game ever. And I know I'm going to attract someone by saying that, but... Don't you hate it when you get a comment on your video where someone's like, Oh my god, stop playing this kid's game! Also, also, you have to click the A button every time it comes up with critical hit, even while it's midway through a Fury Attack. I am getting pretty good luck with Fury Attack, I'll tell you that. I haven't gotten a 2 in a while. Seriously, seriously, none of these trainers are standing a chance now. Uh, speaking of standing a chance, who's going to switch out when they fight this hiker? At the cape! I wore a cape once. It was moist. So anyway, it's a hiker. I guess who uh, Yeah, he's, he's got geodudes. This guy, I believe, has three geodudes on the matchup, but they're all level 13, which means that... It's gonna be a field day for Bubba. And it's not gonna be a field day for Birdo, but meh. Defense Curl! That's a good choice, because now I can just use Vine Whip anyway, and you're gonna die anyway. Uh, by the way, don't expect a level uh, sorry, an evolution from Bubba in a while. I mean, granted, he has gone five levels from his last evolution, but he's still got another 11 to go. Uh, and if you're using another Pokemon, tech uh, sorry, if you're using Charmander or Squirtle, or at least, or at this point, Charmeleon or Wartortle, uh, then that's another 15 levels. But that's why I do think Bulbasaur is a decent choice, because he does get to his max evolution first. Uh, which basically means that, um... I wouldn't say by the next gym, but maybe, like, possibly the next gym? Not, 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 uh, Cerulean gym. Uh, but maybe the gym after that, uh, the fourth gym. Probably by the fourth gym, he would have evolved, while maybe, you know, your Charmeleon would still be Charmeleon by that point. Seriously. Seriously, Bubba is just dominating. But maybe that's because I am only really training two Pokemon right now. And you may be wondering, why aren't you sending out Dragon Man? Also, here's something. S stand here when you activate this trainer. Because, other because also, this guy has a girlfriend. Stand here when you activate this trainer, because then he walks out of that space and he opens it up. Otherwise, you will need the HM move cut, uh, which, you know, you don't get cut until a fair bit later in the game, even after you beat the gym leader, just just right here. Um, which means that, yeah, you'll miss out on this item until a lot later. And trust me, it's a great item. Ah, oh, Hyper Fang. Look at that, that is ridiculous. Concerning how weak Rattata is. Oh, come, no, 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 oh, thank goodness. Yeah. Ekans. Ooh, I'll try, but I don't know. He's Ekans, so I guess he's gonna be weak, but... Ah, oh, I only hit 12. Oh, no, nope. Nope. That's it. Rap isn't very strong. Let me tell you that. And it, it, by the way, it traps you for a random number of turns. I think some, it's between two and five. But sometimes it just gets annoying. So level 18. Birdo's only two levels away from a level up. Uh, the only problem is that there's only two more trainers. So yeah, as you can see, you need, you need, uh, by the way, these trees you can use cut on later in the game. You need your HM in order to open that, if you don't get that guy out. And this is... TM19. This is Psych Seismic Toss. It is one of the best fighting type moves in the game. Uh, and I would strongly recommend it. I knew I had to fight you. <laughs> As you can tell, the uh, translators kind of ran out of things to write about. Oh, he's a little youngster. Can't 
Can I survive this? I mean, I lost less than 12 damage against the level 14 Ekans just before. Oh, come on, hit one more time. Yes! <laughs> oh, gosh. I am absolutely loving Sparrow. Uh, it is a Sandshrew, though. Ooh, I, I, I might be okay. I don't think Sandshrew really has any ground-type attacks, though. Uh, however, if uh, Sandshrew can't hit a Flying-type with a ground-type attack. Flying-types are completely immune to ground-type, which is great. Problem is, you know, Scratch, so it's just... Oh, yep, this is when you switch out. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll throw in Bugaboom, because, like, uh, yeah, because I'm level 21. I am set for the gym. Seriously, I have three Pokemon that are above, that are level 18 or above. You are totally fine for the gym if, if you are at that stage. Because, again, no trainer really has more than two Pokemon. Or, I don't know, a few of these trainers have had four, but... I knew I'd lose two! Okay. Anyway, that leaves one more trainer just before uh, the end. My friend, there's a cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. Well, I, I'm, it's such a shame that you are jealous. Jealous. You have three Pokemon. That's that's actually very interesting. You have an Oddish. I'm sorry, I have to do this. Why would I- I'm sorry if your ears are kind of bleeding because of the ding-dong sound. But why would I pass this opportunity to, to just train Birdo? Seriously. And I, I'm going to do it again because she, as you can see on the side, she's got another Oddish. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously, what is with these Pokemon like training two of the same Pokemon? I think it's kind of bad practice to have two of the same Pokemon. And granted, I don't think... Like, it's a very small percentage of people I know who ever use two of the same Pokemon. I mean, granted, you could probably have a whole team of, uh, Kingdras and you'd be set in second gen, but... Because seriously, it's Kingdra. <laughs> no one expects King... Oh, no, no one can deal with a Kingdra. Uh... Who am I switching to? Birdo. It's a little bit disorienting, because when you switch your party, it doesn't swap them. So the first Pokemon on the list is actually the first Pokemon always. In later games, the Pokemon at the top of the list is the one that's currently- Oh no! No! Actually, I'm okay. I'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't miss. Thank you. <laughs> and if you did that, then you're set. So Birdo lived. How far away is Birdo from the- I'm not so jealous! Okay. How far is Birdo from the next level, by the way? Stats! Uh, 103, so not that far away when you, when you think about it. Uh, so yeah. Anyway. Use that, you get an ether. Yeah, there you go, there's your ether. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so. This is Sea Cottage Bill leaves here. He, Bill is a Sea Cottage. <gasps> okay. Anyway, let's go inside. He's got a very nice computer. Teleporter? Oh my gosh. Mm. Very fancy machines, let me tell you that. Who are you? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Call him Bill. He's true blue and he's a Pokemaniac. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you. I'm Tylering you. He screwed up an experiment. Well, of course he screwed up. Actually, I just realized, if you got combined with a Pokemon, then it's gonna be something like the Fly, where he just turns into a Nidoran or something. Okay, when he's in the teleporter, you gotta do the cell separation system. Oh, yeah, use the, use the keyboard. Oh my goodness, it's a man. Okay. Hi. Come on, I can't net around and use a computer. Also, how did he do it by himself? Anyway, he gives you an SS ticket. AKA, he gives you a ticket to ride a cruise ship for one day. Its passengers are all trainers, because who isn't? I guess people in the cities, I guess. You can't stand fancy dudes. <laughs> yes. That, this is all that he says. This guy, you know, you know, freaking Pokemaniac of the day, invented the box system. 
just like doesn't care. By the way, I never use a computer, but when you're on a computer, it before this moment, it always says someone's PC, aka you log on to its Pokemon storage system. After now, it will be called Bill's com Bill's PC, and yeah, it. I think every game usually has like some form of it. I think it's still Bill's PC in gold and silver, but after that, it's like rock rosettes or something. I don't know. Anyway, with that, we are back in Cerulean City. I think it is a little bit... Also, after this, you can now head inside. And you can actually exit Cerulean City right now. Yes, you don't even have to fight the gym leader. Uh, it would be kind of crazy not to, though, because... Trust me, we are so well prepared for this battle. Like, seriously, at, at this level, we are so good, it doesn't even matter a lot. However, the problem with the battle is that you got, like, so many new Pokemon, so I'm gonna leave that until next time, which we'll see kids then. Okay, so, see you kids then. Do, 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 I'm sorry if you're listening. <laughs>